PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome is very uh, common these days. Every other woman who comes in for a consultation is diagnosed with PCOS, even young adolescent girls. The symptoms of PCOS is weight gain, irregular menstrual periods, excessive facial uh, hair growth, and dark patches on the skin. And the quick fix for this is a birth control pill or even metformin to handle insulin resistance. In today's video, I want to discuss with you about a simple technique that will help you balance your hormones. Let me also tell you there's not much of research done on this technique or a lot of evidence, but there's no harm in trying out and a lot of clients are observing and seeing results as well. So I thought I will share and um, you know make this video so that everyone can benefit out of it. So in this technique, what you need, it's called seed cycling. So we require four seeds in it. The seeds that we are going to use will be flaxseed, next will be pumpkin seed, sunflower and sesame seeds. These four seeds are required. So during the first day of your period to the 14th day, this is called as the follicular phase. And during this phase, we are going to take two seeds, that is flaxseed and pumpkin seeds. Why these two seeds? Flax seeds contain a phytoestrogens, which is going to maintain the estrogen level because during this time, estrogen is really dominant. The next seed that we are going to use is pumpkin seeds because pumpkin seeds contain zinc that is going to maintain the progesterone level. So we need one tablespoon each of both the seeds. You can soak it overnight in water and on morning you can strain the water and chew the seeds or you can roast it, grind it into a powder and you can add it in uh, your juices, smoothies, in your gravies and you know consume it that way. Now the next phase that is from the 15th day to the next date of your period that is called as the luteal phase. During this phase, we need to consume sunflower seeds and sesame seeds. Why? Because sunflower seeds contain vitamin E. That is going to maintain your progesterone level. And the next seed is sesame seed, that is till seeds. Till seeds is going to lower estrogen level. Because during the luteal phase, progesterone is very dominant. So we need to maintain these hormones. So again, the quantity that you need to take of sunflower and sesame seeds is one tablespoon each. You can have it the same way, soaking it overnight and then consuming it or grinding it into a fine powder and adding it into any of your favorite meals. Now, this needs to be done in rotation. So after you have completed from the 15th day to the next day of your period, from the first day, you again start with flax seeds and pumpkin seeds. Now, how soon are you going to see results? It is since they are natural seeds, you have to give a minimum of at least three months. So don't be, you know, restless or impatient that I've been doing it for one month or I'm doing it for, you know, I'm doing it for two weeks, but nothing's happening. No, you have to give it time. Minimum three months so that when you do the seed cycling, you're going to actually see results. And a lot of clients have seen results. So uh, that was all about seed cycling, guys. Do try it out and um, let me know what you think about it and how it is helping you. So that was it for this video. Thank you for watching. And until we meet again, take care, eat healthy, keep moving and keep smiling.